Thank you for joining me. It's October. Um, holy cow. I cannot believe it's October already. Um, I am going to do a goals update because we are entering month 10 of the year and I think this is an appropriate time. Also, I know I say this at the beginning of every one of these videos, but I am going to try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. Wish me luck. Let's go. Oh, also, um, thinking about restructuring these for 2023. So if you have things you'd like to see from me or hear about for the next year, let me know. Um, I'm hoping that they're a little bit more constructive and a little less of me yammering. Um, I have to have my cheat sheet because it's been a long year. Uh, develop two to three new acts. Boom, done, yes. I um, did my Viva Las Vegas act. I finished the Tombstone Jailer act, which I officially debuted at Ohio Burlesque Festival in August. And um, I am in the process of working on two costumes. Well, I finished one costume. It is, um, here's the illustration for that one. It doesn't have a particular act. It's mostly just for um, improv shows or live band things where, you know, just gives me another option to move with um, a different type of costume. I have had the blue silk fabric dress from Gia Lady for years. So I'm very excited that I'm finally gonna implement that. Um, and then the last one is actually the one that's sitting right there. It will be costume number four. It is a um, femme fatale spider web uh, inspired by this illustration by one of my favorite illustrators and I will link their uh, Instagram account in the notes. So I'm gonna consider this one done. I'm gonna keep working on some costume stuff because I have a bunch of things in process right now, but otherwise, check, check, done. Learn to play the piano. No, I've realized, <laughs> no. Um, I have realized that uh, setting six goals for myself was very ambitious coming into the first year where we are really kind of hitting the ground running post pandemic. Um, we haven't had, knock on wood, any particular shutdowns or anything. And I um, under anticipated the amount of gigs I was going to have um, and the amount of work that I was going to be absorbing, really getting the Chicago School of Burlesque up and running. I still want to learn to play the piano, so I have not forgotten about it. It's just, it's not going to get done this year. And I am, I'm okay acknowledging that learn to be better at video editing. I um, still have not done this one. Still really want to do this one. Uh, maybe 2023 is the year that I focus on um, video skills and editing and less on other things. Develop a year calendar for the studio. Kind of did this, although it just kind of happened um organically as the year went on and when things were available we are finishing out the rest of this year with just one-off workshops because it's too hard to schedule eight-week classes around the holidays uh, but i've already messaged teachers about the full schedule for 2023 and that includes three different eight-week sessions and two breaks during the year for workshops and then some end of the year workshops as well. So I am also going to consider this one a check check and I'm very excited about what 2023 is going to hold. Grow alive and lucky. Um, sort of. <laughs> I think that this year was really transitional in um, already having a full year of scheduled shows at the outer space in Berwyn at the beginning of the year. I think that was really productive. Um, I think it helped us for promotions. Uh, there were some unanticipated things that happened this year. And as with any quarterly show, I'm sure anybody who produces a quarterly show would tell you, um, it's great for timeline wise, but it really sucks for uh, maintaining that audience participation. We had a really great energy at the May show and I was actually disappointed we had to wait until August to do the next show. I'm sure we probably could have, um, you know, jammed one in in between, but we had committed to August and August was great, but it was missing. I feel like we could have kept that connection going from May. So 
Um, Mr. Lucky and the orchestra and I are working out a 2023 schedule with the Out of Space, which I'm very excited about. Hopefully we will be finalizing that here in the next couple weeks so we can make that information available. Um, and I'm still trying to find a place here in Chicago that wants to have live band burlesque. I'm, I've been emailing people. My partner has been talking to people when he's been at live shows. I have reached out to my resources and just nothing, nothing has come of that yet. And so maybe 2023, I don't know. We still have three months. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and um, the last one I had was more health related, kind of getting into shape, doing more stretching, being more consistent with that. Um, yes and no. I acknowledge that um, I really miss the routine that I had pre-pandemic where I had a stretch class with Dahlia Fatel every week. And that was in addition to the other workouts that I was doing both running outside and um, you know in my gym when the weather didn't cooperate. And um, I miss that and it's still available and it's still available at a place close to my house. I just haven't made it a priority. Um, I stretch consistently-ish because I have to, because I have to for shows. So it's not that it's not happening, it just hasn't been a focus like I wanted it to be. And I think for 2023, I want to kind of review how I am addressing my health and body maintenance for um, performing as I am 40. And I know that um, these are things that I need to be paying attention to. Uh, I need to take cues for my body. I cannot do five gigs a week. And that was bonkers. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so yeah, I think that's just going to be a continual thing. I don't think it's going to be an actual goal for 2023, but I really haven't sat down and thought about that yet. That's going to come up here in the next couple months. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have for you all. Um, trying to keep it as concise as possible, but also providing you with a little bit of information. Um, October is quiet-ish as far as performances go. I mean, it's it's okay. It's it's on the moderate level, um, which is because I have um, personal things that are coming up now with the end of the year. And I do like to make sure that I take time for friends and family as the holidays are approaching. So um, hopefully I'll get to see those of you that are around the area at some shows. Um, again, as I said before, if there's anything you want to hear, I'm all ears. Otherwise, I'm just kind of, you know, yammering on about things I think I should update you all on. Um, so with that, have a spooky October. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're going to be for Halloween this year. Bye. <laughs>